uplifted lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim.
thank you for your love, your kindness, and and your tender mercy towards us. Thank you for this day, Lord. God, we ask that what is going to be spoken on tonight, that it will be encouraging to the people that will hear it, Lord, the people that will tune in later, Father God. God, we just praise you for it in your son Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. All right, you guys, I just wanted to encourage you on tonight because um, God is doing some amazing things. He's doing some amazing things in the kingdom and in the lives of the, the believers. And today I just came back from a women empowerment conference. Um, it's called Kingdom Kingdom Supermodels, right? And it has just been so encouraging to me um, what God is telling and what God is telling and, and God is doing in the lives of women in this season. He is calling us as women to rise up to the occasion and to take our rightful place and position in the kingdom of God. And what I loved about it, when you think about a supermodel, we always start to think about the fleshly aspect of, you know, people of God are not supposed to be supermodels and, you know, um, things of the world. But they're not talking about that. They're talking about having the model character, having the, the model of Christ, you know, being that ambassador for Christ that he has called us to be. And I just love it because it was something different, something unique, and something new. And God is calling us to stand up, to rise up, get up out of the Mari clay, and get in position where he has called us to be. It's time up for us to keep allowing things to hold us hostage when God has already sent us free. He has already delivered it. When Jesus died on the cross, he said, it is finished. Amen? So when something is finished there, that means there is nothing else left to do but just continue on in what God has called you to do. And um, as I was listening to the speakers this evening and this morning, uh, they were just, it was just like the same thing that God has been telling me about ministry. It's about being empowered. And the woman, it's time for the, the woman to begin to emerge, the emerging woman. Come up out of those low places where you have been of low self-esteem. You know, we've been talking about this for way too long. Uh, we're about to head into a new decade. Amen. And it's time for us to stop carrying around this dead weight. When God has already set us free, he has already called us to be and to do the things that he needs us to do. So why are we continuously uh, walking around with yoke on our neck? Why are we continuously walking around in guilt and in shame when God has already freed us? Thank you, Jesus. So now is the time for us to rise up because God has a word in our belly for us to share with the nation. He wants us to change our atmosphere. He wants us to change the places that we, we go. Amen. Even with Joshua, Father God, God said, wherever your foot step, wherever your feet step, whatever you step, wherever you step, you shall be blessed. Amen. And we are blessed. It's time for us to stop living beneath our privileges. It's time for us to stop quoting scriptures, but not believing God in his word. And I, I am just so pumped. I am just so geared and just so so eager to, to continue on and do the work of God. What God has called me to do because souls are, are are waiting on the word. Souls are waiting on the gift, that the anointing that God has placed on our lives. So he's telling us to rise up. Get up. No more sitting in shame. No more sitting in the shambles. Hallelujah. How can we minister to the world when we are still in Lodabar? We're still in dark places. We're still in valleys. Hallelujah. Your valley experience is over. Get up. Believe God and his word. Stop trying to hold on to these things when Christ already said you have been freed from it. The pastor said today, she said, stop looking for God to do something, do what he has already done. We are waiting. We are waiting for God to do something where he has already done it. He has already delivered us. He has already healed us. He has already set us free. So what are we waiting for? It is our now season. It is the time now for us to move. It is the time now for us to stop sitting on the sidelines and just watching the world and watching them purpose pass us by. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Don't let fear just keep.
keep holding you back? Get up. Rise now. You are a confident woman in God. Everybody's not going to want what you have, but those that need you are waiting on you. Be delivered from people. Be delivered from your own insecurity. God need us now. This world need us now. And he is waiting for us to just arise to the occasion. Arise to the occasion. Don't be afraid of, of who's going to follow you, who's not going to follow you, who's going to like you, who's not going to like you. It does not matter. Because if God be for you, who can be against you? Hallelujah. With God, you have everything that you need. Hallelujah. We feel that we need a whole entourage of people to um, solidify the vision and solidify our purpose and solidify what God has called us to do. We don't need that. All we need is God. Hallelujah. We need God. And if we have God, we have more than enough. (laughs) If we have God, Hallelujah, hear me tonight. We have more than enough. He talked about begging. Stop begging. Stop begging for people to attend your services. Stop begging to, to people to attend your events and to sow and to see what you need and what you have to offer. God will provide. Walk in the authority. Walk in the kingdom authority that you have been given. We have a legal right to possess the land. Hallelujah. It's take over time. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> We've been sitting back too long waiting, but God said now is the time to take over. Seize. Oh, oh my God. Seize it. Take over. Thank you, Lord God. Take over. Take authority over it. He has given us the uh, He has given us the authority to to overtake, but we're too scared. We're too timid. We are we are intimidated by people. We're intimidated by the tactics of the enemy. The enemy always whispers in our ear, "You you're not you're not enough. Or what you have is not good enough. You can't do that. It's too big." We always fall when opposition comes. But no, uh uh-uh. uh. If you want it, you're going to have to possess it now. You're going to have to possess it. You just got to take it. Take it. Take over. Take over. See. Subdue. Hallelujah. God has already given us the mandate that we as the, the people of God have that right to subdue and to take over. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. And God has been dealing with me so much about the emerging woman, the woman that is full of grace, the woman that is powerful, the woman that is love, the woman that is courageous, the woman that is gentle, the woman that is kind, the woman that is a lender and not the borrower, the woman that is above and not beneath, the woman that is a healer. Ah, whoo. Thank you, Jesus. The woman that can heal broken vessels. The woman that can heal broken dreams and broken people. Emerging woman, come up out of your horrible pit. Psalm 40 says, God, God pulled me up out of a horrible pit. And he put my feet on solid ground. And he gave me a new song. Change what you're singing. Change the tune. Glory be to God. Put joy in, in, in your soul. Put joy in your heart. Because you have the victory. Hallelujah. Victory belongs to you. <laughs> I just want to encourage you tonight. I just want to encourage you that victory belongs to you. You're not a loser. You are a winner. Miss Kimmy plays that song a lot. You are a winner. Believe it, you are a winner. You are not a loser. You are not a has-been. Glory be to God. But you are the man and woman of God. You are the apple of God's eye. You are something special. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And what you have is precious. And what you have a 
mother's need. Thank you, Lord. It's time for you to begin to see what God has in you. And stop looking, stop devaluing yourself. Stop devaluing the gift that God has given you. Use it. Use it. People need it. The ones that don't want it, it's okay. It ain't for them. But it is for a group. It is for a, 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 a chosen people that needs what God has given to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. He wants you to rise up now. Out of your pit. Out of your sorrow. Out of your pain. Those things are, are, are over now. Stop being like the cripple, the cripple, the cripple man. Pick up your bed and walk. Don't be like the, the woman with the issue of blood. You 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 have been healed. You have been delivered. You don't have to live in your past. You don't have to live in your pain anymore. Your pain does not define you. Hallelujah. Your pain was for you to share your story of deliverance and of victory and overcoming. So somebody else can know that if Monique overcame, I can overcome too. You are overcomers. What you've been through didn't kill you. It may it should have made you stronger. You stronger. You just don't know you stronger. Hallelujah. It kill you. It made you stronger. It didn't cripple you. It made you stronger. You you thinking that that infirmity, that thing that was in your life, that was so prevalent in your life at one time, crippled you. But no, sis, no, bro. It made you stronger. You're looking at it as a weakness, but God is looking at it as your strength. He has clothed you with that strength. Hallelujah. Stop being silent. Speak your truth. Speak what God has done for you. Stop listening to the devil. He is a liar. The truth is nowhere in him. When are you going to change your mindset? When are you going to stop listening to the devil and start listening to God? The choice is yours. You have a choice of who you're going to listen to. You're going to listen to God or you're going to listen to the devil. And the devil ain't ever going to tell you nothing sweet, nothing nice, nothing good about yourself. He's always going to go come at you saying the uh, woe is me syndrome. Pity part. He ain't gonna, he not going to bring nothing good to you. So when it, when those words come, when when those thoughts come, you know it ain't God. You know it's the devil. Who side you? This is all. Who side you leaning on? And we like to say well, I'm leaning on the Lord's side. But if you keep li- listening to the devil, you ain't leaning on the Lord's side. You're leaning on the devil's side. You siding with him. You are you have come into agreement with him. And he just sitting back laughing at you. But God was like, "Come on, get up." Take the grave clothes off. You ain't, you're not in, and you're not dead. The vision is not dead, for it is surely alive. <laughs> there is still room for you at the table. A lot of times we try to think that the market is saturated with, with, with people with preachers and ministers and gifts and abilities. No, 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 no. There is still room for you at the table. Come where the table is spread. Hallelujah. Come where the table is spread. Hallelujah. No more sitting down. But it's time to rise to the occasion. Rise to the occasion. Present yourself. Present your gifts so that people can be healed. So that people can be set free. Hallelujah. Whatever it is, just let it go. Just let it go. God was like, why do you keep carrying these things? Why do you keep carrying them? I have not put these 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 yokes and these bounds on you. You have placed it on yourself. You have placed these, these yokes on yourself. Hallelujah. He has freed you. He has freed you. It's already done. It's already done. 
Hallelujah. God is so great. He is so awesome. He is so awesome. And he just he just, he just wants us to, to come up out of that place now. Come up out of that place. I remember times in my life where I was in true little bar experiences where I didn't love myself. I had like a lot of low self esteem. You know, just thought that I didn't even know why I was here, you know, didn't know my purpose or anything like that. But it's like God was like, Stop thinking negative about yourself. What I place on the inside of you is great. It's mighty. I always thought that, you know, if I would be a little skinnier or, you know, if if, I, if this was different, you know, it would it would be better or people would like me more, you know, I would be more accepted. No, stop trying to be accepted by man. God has already accepted you. He has already, you have the stamp of approval on you. He just wants you to go forward. Hallelujah. God says the stamp of approval is already upon you. He said, just move forward. Thank you, Lord. He's already put his stamp of approval over your life, over your ministry, everything that he has given you and called you to. He has approved it. And now he just wants you to trust him. Just step out. Step out. And I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to myself, too. It's some things that God has given me that I have to step out on now because I've been carrying it for a couple of years, and when he's given it to me, but God's like, now is the time to step out. Step out. No more quoting the scriptures but not living the word. Hallelujah. Step out. Be courageous. Be bold. Hallelujah. The song said, God can't use no coward soldier. No, it's time for us to stop being a coward and so afraid. We find the spirit of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. A sound mind. Sound judgment. Hallelujah. You are not like those foolish women that they talked about. And I think it was in um, Timothy. You are not those foolish women. You are a wise woman. You are a woman of great strength. You are a woman of great influence. Hallelujah. Get back to the basics of God. Get back to the basics of, of what God has has told you to do. And a lot of times all that we really need is you got to get reconnected in prayer and fasting and reading your word. Because the only way you will know who you are and what you are or the power, the dunamis that's within you is if you get close to the creator, the one that has placed it on the inside of you. Hallelujah. It's time, you guys. And like I said, I just, I, sometimes I just thank God for the circle of, of people that he is he's placing in my life and the opportunities that I can go to to get strengthened and to get empowered. So once he empowers me more, I come out and, you know, be amped, and I, I, I want to empower other people, empower other people. Walking, We're walking in the newness. Stop looking for the old things. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Stop looking for the old. God said, I am doing a new thing. Can you not see it? <laughs> Can you not be it? Hallelujah. Let's let's get our minds right. Let's get our spirits right. Hallelujah. Let's get our act right. So we can move forward and be those kingdom supermodels. Somebody the the, the models, the people that the world wants to emulate. When they see us, they want to say, oh, I don't know what it is about them, but I want to be like them. I want what they have. It shouldn't be the other way around. We want everything that the world has. Why why, why doesn't the world want what we have? (laughs) Hallelujah. Why doesn't the world want what we have? And we have the greatest gift. 
we have the greatest gift, but we, we're not putting the value on what God has given us and what God has called us to do. But now is the time for us to rise up out of those low places, possess this land that God has given us, move forward, and just, just take over. <laughs> take over. It's okay. It's okay. It has nothing to do with us thinking we're all that, but it's just for us. It's just utilizing the authority that God has given us. As bad believers, a lot of times we believe that, oh, well, I can't do that because people are going to think this or people are going to think that. No, it, it, it's not about that. It's about the, taking the authority that God has given us, utilizing the authority and the power that God has given us. Hallelujah. So like I said, I just want to take a few minutes tonight. I wanted to encourage you guys. Um, just just move forward. Don't don't live in a place of rejection and hurt and suffering and pain any longer. Those days are over. Those days are over. No matter who likes you, who loves you, who hates you, it don't matter. Because if God be for you, who can be against you? Father, we thank you for the encouragement on tonight. I pray that your people have been encouraged to become kingdom supermodels, Father God, to come up out of the Mari clay, Father God, and to possess the land, do what God has called them to do, Father God. God, we ask that they just come up out of the Mari places, Father God, and just go, Father God. Go wherever you are calling them to go, Father God, for you've already prepared the way for it, Father God. And God, we just praise you for it in your son Jesus' name. Amen. And just wanted to give a shout out to this time. Pastor Shannon McCray. Um, that was the conference that we attended today, um, the Rise of the Confident Woman. And her subject was Kingdom Supermodel. So, like I said, it just encouraged me so much on today. I just wanted to take this time to share some nuggets from what we learned today and what empowered us today to get up from out those low places and to continue to move forward. You guys, this is your girl, Monique Walker. Well, I'm Monique Smalls. I keep getting all married now. <laughs> also, the Uplifting with Mo show. You guys have a phenomenal Saturday and an awesome Sunday. <laughs>